Music. I'm Krista. And I'm Michael. We're on the beat today to learn about an important musical family. We'll hear lots of musical styles like classical, Latin salsa, rock and roll, jazz. Right. We'll hear lots of musical instruments, too. Let's see if you can figure out what family they all belong to. We'll give you a few hints and see if they ring any bells. It's probably the oldest family of musical instruments. It's got a lot of members. And it's got to be the loudest family of musical instruments of all. You've probably figured out by now that we're talking about the rhythm and percussion family. We're going to break it up into two groups. The ones that keep the beat. And the ones that make a melody. A percussion instrument is almost anything that makes a noise when you hit it. You can hit some of them by strumming, or even with special levers and hammers, like a keyboard. Percussion instruments can boom and thunder. They can be tribal and primitive. Or they can be delicate and fairy-like. We're dividing them into the non-melodic instruments that don't play any particular pitch or notes, and the melodic percussion instruments, which can carry a melody. Have you ever taken all the pots and pans in your kitchen and hit them with a spoon? That's percussion. <laughs> Do you ever tap your pencil on your desk? That's percussion too. Of all the non-melodic percussion instruments, drums are the most famous. Drums are made of animal or synthetic skins stretched over a cylindrical body. You strike the skins or drum head with a stick, a mallet, or your hands. The body acts as a resonating chamber and the vibrations make the sound. The pitch of the drum, how high or low it sounds, depends on the size of the drum and the tension of the drum head. That means how tightly it's stretched. Small drums with tight heads have a higher pitch than the larger, looser drums. Why do we have percussion instruments? Because they're really fun to play. Yes, they're really fun to play. But the main musical purpose of non-melodic percussion is to create rhythm and add texture to a musical group. They keep the beat so that the other instruments will have something to follow. This is especially true in jazz bands, marching bands, and rock bands. In an orchestra, all the instruments, even the percussion, follow the conductor. But all symphony orchestras have a percussion section to add excitement and color to the music. Before we meet the percussion instruments individually, let's hear what an entire percussion section can do with a tune you already know. Everyone loves a parade. The clowns, floats, and marching bands, and the musicians are so close, you can reach out and touch them. There are three kinds of drums in a marching band. The parade drum, or snare. The bass drum. And the tom-tom. Ancient Greeks and Romans used cymbals in their religious ceremonies. Today, cymbals are used everywhere. Percussionists can play them with sticks or mallets or crash them together. And now we come to an American invention, the drum set, sometimes called the trap set. During the birth of jazz, someone had the bright idea of putting lots of percussion together so one drummer could do it all. A typical trap set has a bass, snare drum, tom-toms, hat symbol, and sometimes more. Here's what it sounds like.
The drum set is one of the only instruments that requires four-way body coordination. Each limb of the body has to play a different part. You know, rhythm shows up in the way people move, too. If you swim or ride a bike, you've got rhythm. The bass drum and snare drum have two friends from South America, the congas. The big one is the tumba, and the next is the conga. They make enough different sounds and rhythms to accompany an entire band. Here's something I know you like. A number of reasons why I chose drums. I can remember from very early on that I was always attracted to the drums themselves, the equipment, the cymbals, the drum set, how everything looked while the drummer was playing it. Also, whenever I listened to music, the first thing I heard was the drums. I would hear what the drummer was playing, and whenever I saw drummers play, I was very attracted to watching what they were doing as well. I knew all along that I wanted to be a drummer for that reason, so it might sound kind of cliche, but it's almost like drums chose me. I knew I was going to be a drummer from a very early age on. I think the main difference between drums and percussion is that drums themselves would be, be considered an instrument within the percussion family. Someone that calls himself a drummer would probably be referring specifically to drum set. If you call yourself a percussionist, you're going to be playing a wider variety of instruments. A classical percussionist would be playing timpani, cymbals, bass drum, marimba, that sort of thing. Uh, hand percussionists would be playing congas, bongos, timbales, and all of that. There's different ways to get started as a drummer. I started by playing in my school band system, which I thought was excellent because at that point I was playing with other musicians right away and learning how to be in a band setting. I think it's very important to listen to a wide variety of styles of music if you want to become a well-rounded drummer. If you concentrate and focus on just one style, you're going to be limited to playing that type of music. If you like and you listen to and you're aware of a wide variety of styles, you're going to be much more prepared to play a wide variety of music. Once you start and you learn to play an instrument, if you stay with it, it's something you can play your entire life. No matter what instrument it is, music is something that you can take with you forever. Drums had their beginnings in military bands and weren't included in symphony orchestras. Soon composers realized that percussion added dynamics and intensity to their music. Now percussion is a big part of every orchestra. huge old-fashioned cooking pots. But they don't sound like that. Timpani are made of metal and have a head of animal skin or plastic. The timpani is the only drum that can change the pitch easily by using a foot pedal. And by the way, the plural of timpani is timpani. Let's listen. used in marching bands. They were carried on horseback. You know, I've got a question. What exactly is rhythm? This is a fine time to ask. We're halfway through the show already. Rhythm is how fast you play the music. And, well, like that, right? Almost. The speed you play is called the tempo of a piece of music. Rhythm consists of patterns within the tempo. 
It can be simple or complicated. Most rock music is based on a 4 4 rhythm, and so is a lot of country, jazz, and classical. But there are lots of other patterns. This is 3 4. A waltz uses a 3 4 pattern. All rhythms are based on mathematics and how the different patterns fit together. So if you want to be a rock star, learn your arithmetic. That sounds pretty complex, but when you set it to jazz, it seems easy. jazz rhythm section includes drums, bass, and piano. Sometimes other rhythm instruments are added, including guitar, congas, and other percussion instruments. Now that we've covered some major non-melodic percussion instruments, let's talk about the other group, the melodic rhythm and percussion instruments. You mean the most popular instrument in the world, for example? One of only a few that can play solo and still pack a concert hall? And it can play almost any style of music. It's the piano. The first piano was built in 1698. Today's concert grand is a direct descendant of that design. But pianos now come in many sizes. The piano has 88 keys. Each is a lever that activates a hammer to hit a string inside the piano. That's why the piano is considered a percussion instrument, the hammer inside. The keys are laid out with the low notes on the left. the high notes on the right. Piano players have to read two lines of music at once, one for each hand. They use their feet, too. The pedal on the left lets the pianist play very softly. The pedal on the right lets the musician sustain or hold a note or chord. Here's what all these techniques sound like together. Which instrument is the star of the 20th century? The guitar. Just a few decades ago, almost no one played a guitar. Now it's one of the most popular instruments in the world. The revolution occurred here in the States, when blues musicians and country players added a driving rhythm to their guitars and created... Rock and roll. It started in the 1950s, and suddenly, guitars were part of every band. They still are. Hey, I wonder if I could learn to play guitar for real. Actually, the guitar can be one of the easier instruments to learn. They're played by plucking or strumming the strings with your fingers or a pick. Frets, little metal bars across the neck of the guitar, make it easy to press the strings down to make the different notes. Most guitars have six strings. This is a bass guitar. It looks like an ordinary guitar, but only has four strings and plays lower notes. Let's listen to some guitar music.
percussion family for some rock and roll. Maybe you'll understand why some people classify the guitar and bass as rhythm and percussion instruments. this sound and the different notes you can get from a glass of water. You can do this yourself. The rhythm and percussion family is huge, but there's still lots more. Percussionists sometimes play the triangle, the tambourine, maracas, shakers, Or cowbell. Or bongos. Timbales. Chimbe. Ashiko. Or Kuika. <laughs> And don't forget the doom back. Indian brain drum. Orchestra chimes. Gong. And vibra slap. And yes, there will be a test at the end of the show. Yikes, I can only remember the maracas and the congas. <laughs> Good, that's all you need to play along with a Latin beat. today, I just know we're going to forget some of them. Just focus on what's important. Remember, a rhythm and percussion instrument is something you strike, shake, strum, or pluck to make a sound. And we can divide them into the non-melodic instruments like drums. And the melodic instruments like the piano. Quiz time. Why do we have rhythm and percussion instruments? To keep time for the other instruments. Because they're really fun to play. And to dance to. So shake it up a little and put some music in your life. life. 